So, good morning. How's everybody doing? Um, I said I, pr I promised that I would get uh, a video up on details of my sawmill. I uh, thought I'd put one up real quick here. Uh, details on the dimensions of the material, the, some of the dimensions I used uh, that worked pretty really well. You don't want this thing too heavy, right? So, anyway, these tubings, which you can modify anytime you want, are one by one tubings. Um, these ones are 30 inches long. Now, this will allow me to cut up to about 26, 28 inches total. If you get what I mean, you lose, you know, lose two inches here, two inches here, but on the bar, you have to mount a couple inches, like an inch or two from the chainsaw. And on the tip, you can't be on the tip on the sprocket. You'll blow out a sprocket. Okay? This, overall, I told you a foot, it's not. This is one eleven, a little under. Should be about eleven and a half. The reason it ends up like that is because all these holes on these parts, this is a foot across. So this is a foot, as you can see. This is a foot, and that's that. And these are about... 8 inches high, this tube in here is 8 inches high. Um, the reason for that is I wanted this little step, as you can see. I want a little step front and back, everywhere, same step. And that's a 1 inch, uh, sorry, it's a 1 inch tubing with the hole 1 and a half inches, sorry. One and a half inches back it's to the center, to the center of the hole. Three eighths bolts. The reason for that is that I wanted all the same spacing. I pre-drilled everything, one from the top, so you get six holes to drill, plus these two holes. That's five eighths. I'm using a five eighths bolt, so that's a fifteen sixteenths. These are nine sixteenths. The reason I did that is because it's the same tool that I use for my chainsaw. My Pioneer uses a 916 for the saw bolts. Um, this piece in between, well, it's like 11 and a half, take two inches off, is a nine and a half inch. Uh, it's not quite, I think it's, I don't know why it ended up, like, it could be, I wanted it up against the bolts, okay? I want everything up against the bolts, so it's nice and easy. Uh, it lines up easy. You put your bolt in, put the tubing on, bolt it down. It does. You're not fighting against it. Here's the other uh, measurements. This is a two by one inch tubing. Um, I'm only using oh, 20 inches of tubing. Okay. And then it is a one by one tubing that is eight inches long. It's the same eight inches long on the bottom. It is the same as these back ones. So when I cut them, I cut six pieces all the same length. Um, and these flat bars, one and a half. All right. These were approximately six inches. No, yeah, they were. They were. Yeah, they were five and a half inches long. These were five and a half inches long before I bent them. They're all the same. There's six of them also. Down here is the same flat bar. This is what you use to pinch your bar. Um, they're a little too wide. I actually like uh, this width here. About two inches long would be plenty for that flat bar. Now there's another video that shows uh, me building this video. Uh, me building it. Uh, you can go watch that if you want more detail, but uh, just wanted to give you dimensions of the, the, the details in dimensions um, So you can build your own This is You know six and a half inch I use this because like like I said in my other video I just found this and it was easy it needs to be a thick wall if you could get another rectangular that fits perfect over top or get a dimension that works you may You'll have to change thickness on this one. It needs to be a quarter inch thick. 
when the bolt is pushing, if there was one eight wall, it flexes. Um, you don't want that flex. You may need to go to a quarter inch. So say, oh, you could go to a two and a half by one and a half quarter inch dimension would give you the proper size. If you can't find that, it's not readily available, trust me. Uh, depending where you are. Uh, but try to find something like that that fits together. That works fine for me. So I used an angle iron to shim up that space for this and it was fine. Again, scrap. I'm not in scrap. Um, and that C channel is a two and three quarter, quarter inch channel. C channel should be two and a half, really. It would have been perfect. Uh, C channel. It's welded here, welded here. It's got a little bit of a quarter inch. That doesn't matter much, but it's got a bit of a quarter inch overhang just so I could attack. I could attack it on the inside. All right. That's all I got for you guys. Um, if you need something else, I think put the bolts in the front so they're easier to tie down when you're welding that up. I did make a mistake with one, and I didn't put it at the proper location. Anyway, hope you don't make the same mistake. Put square in the middle. Uh, I might change out these bolts. I might tack these bolts. So I don't... I can't tack these ones. I'll have to turn them around, actually. I didn't want the long man on the bottom, of course. But it doesn't matter because it slides here, right? So um, that, that that's another thing. If I redid this, I would probably weld it on the other side. Um, not this one, but this one, just so I can get this away from the piece of tree. This was really close to the tree and and grabbing, so because my bar is so short, I was using a twenty-inch bar. Twenty-inch bar. That's as wide as you're going to cut. 13 inches. That's all I was able to get in. It's, it's, it's you just couldn't get more bar without affecting or crushing the, the tip of my, my bar. So, just to note the self. Alright. Have a wonderful day, YouTubers, and uh, hope this helps out.